Okay, so I just had my interview and immediately I thought that went pretty well. I think it went well than the last one and if I got through the last one then I'm feeling kind of confident about this one because they asked me the same SQL question that I got wrong in the last one so I did my homework and I knew it for this one and they asked me about my experience as expected. I'd asked me some technical questions including the SQL one and to be honest the rest have just gone out of my mind but I know I got them right so um, that's all good, that's what matters. Um, yeah they just asked me things like about my projects and how I would approach TDD. I think my answers were okay because they said yeah that's a good answer so I'm gonna believe them. Um, things about like what do you think makes a good team member like what traits would you associate with it yeah I was they were asking me what actuary or actuarial science was so I had to kind of they were like we had to google it and that's pretty common because I feel like generally people don't know what actuary is I don't know then <laughs> it's funny because when they asked me to ask them questions one of my questions is if you hire me right now what would I be working on and this is a question I've seen from the streamer I've forgotten his name uh, I'll put it up on the screen but it's this clip and he says if you have an interview and they ask you do you have any questions ask this because psychologically if you're saying if you hire me right now it forces their perspective in thinking well if we do hire you and it gets it in their head and I, I don't know it's a good question and when I asked them one of the uh, developers started laughing and I instantly knew he's definitely seen that clip which was kind of funny anyway the other guy answered the question and then the one that was laughing kind of unmuted himself and said it's funny because I don't know if you watch but like there's this guy who said that's a good question to ask so I, I just started laughing. I didn't say, I didn't confirm or deny that I got the question from him but um, that was quite a funny moment. Um, yeah, no, no, no little sprout thing on my headphones this time but uh, yeah they said they'll get back to me um, the end of this week or next week so I guess we'll see. Okay, so ignoring my messy room, it's the same day as the interview I just had and they already got back to me and told me that I got into the next stage of the interview, which I kind of expected not to sound overly confident, but I felt it went pretty well. So uh, I think the next stage is just the last stage and they explained to me on the phone that um, it will be like a it will be a face-to-face -face interview for one and I think I'll be doing some kind of coding problem in front of them so I'll get like a set time to do it in and then they'll interview me after and ask me further questions about myself they seem to really be putting an emphasis on the culture aspect of the company which is fine um, but I'm a bit nervous to code in front of someone because I feel like that's so awkward um, but I better get practicing my leak code and trying technical tests because I don't really know what to expect I've never done one before so I'm quite nervous and excited because face to face I've not got a screen to hide behind I've got about a week to prepare and yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs>
Okay, so I'm already at my interview and I I got here quite early. Um, I have like an hour early. It was only about an hour drive, but I wanted to give myself more time in case I took a wrong turning or something, but it was really straight down the motorway. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just wanting to get it over with. I feel like these few days leading up have just been kind of dragging and I've just like I feel like there's a point where you just start to lose motivation going over the same stuff again so I just kind of want to get it done now and if I get it I get it if I don't I don't it's not for me I'm feeling okay I think my nerves will just go once I get there it's just more the lead up that is like annoying <laughs> I think it's about like a 10 minute walk so I might walk down I might get there like 20 minutes early but I'd rather be early than late so I guess I'll see you on the other side okay so I just got back from my interview and I feel like it went pretty well they had a section which was technical questions and a coding problem they gave me and the second half was just kind of competency based but more just general about me questions um i guess to gauge what i'm like as a person um but i got the coding problem correct it was a simple it was a uh, fizz buzz so i've done that on code wars before and to be honest it's not like i memorized the solution but i could see instantly how that could be solved. I was having a problem clicking on the uh, laptop but <laughs> I just couldn't use it and then at one point it looked like I was trying to insert an emoji and I had to just be like yeah I'm not trying to put an emoji in this code I promise. Um, but then they just asked me general questions like what are solid principles? I looked that up this week in preparation. They asked me Again about the join of SQL because it's two different interviewers um, and they asked me general questions like what is a database, um, what is the cloud and um, stuff like that just to see I think what my answer is. Um, it seemed to go decently and then they kind of asked me a bit about me, why I'm changing career, of course that's expected. Um, why I want to do coding, why, why is, do I know, like how do I know that's what I want to do for the rest of my life or for my career. Um, and then they gave me a chance to ask them questions, so I asked like what's a typical day um, from in six months if I'd been working, where do you expect me to be? How do you support with training and development and I think those were the most questions I probably asked questions about what they answered as well um, and the whole thing lasted like one and a half hours and it was it felt really re relaxed I was a bit like nervous but comfortable enough for an interview I also had a reply about my coding problem that I did for company A and they want to invite me back to talk through my code so I'll probably be doing that on Friday. I'm probably going to include the results if I get this job in the next week's YouTube vlog and also how that second interview went because I would have uploaded it and edited it by Friday so I guess we'll find out.